Hello everybody, welcome into the new pit stop video. Today I will show you how to modify a little bit your carbon boot using a heat gun. Usually you can do the heat molding uh, with the oven like we have seen in a previous video. But sometimes you don't want to uh, change a lot the shape of the carbon. You just want maybe to correct a very little point uh, maybe on the outside part of the boot like this. If you have a little pressure point and you want to correct it. It's quite easy and it can be actually more simple using a heat gun. So what do you need for this? Uh, you need of course a heat gun. This one is pretty cool because it is actually showing also the temperature uh, going out of the heat gun. And you know with heat molding you don't want to go uh, more than um, 120 degrees. So here we can go a little more but we need to uh, keep control of the temperatures. Maybe you can keep your wheels, you can keep your frame on your boot, just select good the point you want to correct. So let's take as example today, I want to make my boot a little bit wider in this area. So I will have to warm this part of the boot and then I will put my feet um, with socks inside the boot. I will add a little uh, aluminium paper or it can be a tissue or something that you want to put between your foot and, uh, and uh, the socks. So it will create a little reinforcement that will push the carbon away when it's warm. So okay, let's try. I like to build some little uh, shape of aluminium like this. Can be tissue or foam it is also working very fine. So when you have your shape ready, uh, you can also have a tissue like this to if you want to protect your boot to make sure uh, if you're afraid the material is a bit sensitive uh, you can always also protect the boot with heat gun but usually I still go uh, direct like this and I can see more how to control and I don't use glove also you can use glove if you want but I like to check the temperature of the carbon just with my hand like this so I start basically first by Putting the heat gun, I select at the moment something like 300 degrees to start and you want to warm the area that you want to correct. Never be straight without moving, always make little movement and always keep a little distance between the heat gun and the boot. Don't go like super close, always keep quite some distance like about 10 cm like this. and I try to warm all the area that I want to correct. And usually in 30 seconds, maybe not even, it starts to be warm enough. Then I just put uh, this under my sock and put my feet inside the boot. Okay, now you can see uh, my foot, is, my boot is a little bit modified. The carbon moved a little bit away here and I have no more pressure point. It's better to do it uh, very carefully and slowly. So I like to do it like just, you know, 30 seconds like this, give it a try, go to my training and then I feel if the pressure point is still there or not. If it's still there, I repeat the process the day after one more time, but very slow and small change. Okay, it's better to try to be super careful with the heat gun because it can go with higher temperature than what is recommended for heat molding. So it's a process that is uh, faster to do for a pressure point, but try to make very small modification at a time till you get super happy with your boot. So you, it's easy to modify all the area around the boot like this. It's quite easy also to modify the upper part of the boot if needed, or even the part with the scaphoid bone here it's quite easy to modify and to add a little space to take away all the little pressure points if you have. If you want a more global change in the boot, then I recommend to use uh, the heat molding process like we saw in the previous video. So you see with this technique it's quite easy to make some little change. Even when you have your foot with the little reinforcement inside to create the gap, you can still add a little bit uh, of uh, warm with the heat gun just to make sure you have the change uh, you really want. And you don't need to really, again I insist, you don't really need to uh, stay long with the heat gun. It can take 10, 20 seconds, maybe 30 seconds maximum in a row. Be careful with the different systems, especially on the Axel boot. When you have a top system, you don't want to warm directly on the top system, of course. So 
So here you can, for example, uh, put a little protection with the tissue around it if you modify really close to this area. But super easy boot to modify and you can really make it uh, almost like some custom details in it to avoid all the little uh, pain. Just be careful because the temperature can go higher. Make sure you use a good heat gun. Make sure you're always moving a little bit and not too close to the skate. And once again, control the temp temperature like with your hand. As soon as you feel, oh, the carbon is already warm, then you have enough to create the modification. And that's it for the heat gun little tips. Little uh, more precise than uh, heat molding for some details. A nice technique that many pro skaters are using to make their boots like they really want. Thanks for following, see you in the next video.